Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brittany Bear Makeup here. If you guys are new, then today is going to be another product review. I'm so excited because today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new Electric Nights collection from Morphe. So they went ahead and launched a whole bunch of new products just for the holidays, and I'm excited to review them and let you guys know if it's gonna be worth your money with all the launches we have going on right now. Make sure you guys hit that giant red subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm also gonna have another giveaway for you guys to enter. Alright guys, so I know many of you have probably watched a couple of my reviews recently and you kind of already have an idea of how they work, but just in case you're new here today, I like to have a total of four categories. First one being packaging, second range, third application, and the last is going to be the price. I like to rate all of these from one to five stars, one being the least, five being the most, and then I give you guys an overall tally total to let you guys know if this palette is verified. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start with our category number one, which is going to be the packaging. Alright guys, so here I have the Morphe 39L Hit The Lights palette. So as you can see, here we have this beautiful multi-dimensional palette. It is made from that thick cardboard stock. It also has so many different beautiful colors on it. Kind of reminds me of the Galaxy. And then on the top it says 39L Hit The Lights. On the back it has like these beautiful colors. So here we have it. We have this giant size palette. Already noticing it does not have a mirror. I'm kind of sad because I feel like Morphe recently launched a couple palettes that all came with mirrors so I thought that was gonna be like their new standard for each palette so that's a little bit disappointing also they have like this giant plastic which keeps slipping out but on the plastic it has the names of each one of these eyeshadows now the problem with this is I noticed that a lot of times I will do a look and you guys ask what colors did you use chances are when I get this plastic I lose it throw it away it gets lost so I'm not able to actually have the names on hand the packaging is pretty overall I really like how they changed it up but I'm a little sad that they didn't have the mirror and they didn't have the actual names of the shadows right now. So that being said, guys, I think it is only fair if I rate this a total of three stars just because I think those are two really important things when you are purchasing a really pretty palette. So looking at this palette, I see a lot of colors going on here, and it's really exciting because these are actually colors that I personally love. If you guys know me, I'm a big neutrals girl. I love shimmers. I love colors that I can wear a lot. You have a lot of fun colors as well, but I'm definitely noticing a lot of repeats of neutrals. So I want to say that the first half of the whole eyeshadow palette is definitely more of a neutrals palette, and then on the bottom is when they gave us just a little bit and pop of color that you can play with. So the palette has a total of 39 eyeshadows, and looking at the palette, I noticed that there are a lot of shimmers this time around. Like they gave us a couple glitters, they gave us mostly shimmers, and then a few matte shadows. I feel like you see a lot of repetitive colors. As in, there's a lot of neutrals that are so similar that look like other palettes that I have purchased from Morphe. So I would have loved to seen a couple more bright colors, maybe like a really, really rich purple or some beautiful blues to kind of go for the holidays and be electric and out there. The range definitely is good. Good, but I feel like having that there's 39 eyeshadows in this palette I wish they would have just given us some more so with that being said guys I think for the range I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four only because I think they had a great idea there But they just could have added a couple more shades to make this that much more special so four four range It is now time for application, which is obviously why we're here. We kind of want to see how it applies, how the colors actually look. But before we get into that, I did want to mention that Morphe is also launching holiday eye brush kits. And the one that I'm going to be using today is going to be the Glance Party, which retails for $29 and comes with a total of 12 brushes. So you have all the brushes you need to create a beautiful eye look. They also have this one, which is Pump of the Glam Face. And these are their holiday special collection brushes. You guys have probably seen seen these in the past they have like rhinestones on them they're super beautiful this is actually the brush that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with so stay tuned to the end so you guys can enter and these are gonna retail you for $79 and they come with the pouch just so that you guys know so now it is time to dive into today's palette so I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with this beautiful terracotta brown shade right in the corner alrighty I'm gonna go ahead and begin by working this into my eye okay Morphe not disappointing at all like the pigment is there 
So I'm just gonna work this into the crease and see how well it blends out. All right guys, so, so far, extremely pigmented, I have to say, like, I'm very impressed with the formula of this eyeshadow. I do notice just a little bit of difficulty, like, controlling the eyeshadow in one general area. I feel like it's kind of being dispersed a little bit more than I would like, but I'm not too mad because I am very impressed with the blendability of it and I love how it's actually blending out very seamlessly. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go into another shade and I think I'm gonna go into this light burgundy right here and I'm gonna press this into the corner and I'm just gonna tap it onto the lid actually. So something I wanna take note on is I've used Morphe palettes in the past and for some odd reason I feel like these eyeshadow pigments are a lot more pigmented. Typically they are pigmented but these are definitely just like with a little bit of product they're doing such a wonderful job applying onto the eye and really staying there and being vibrant so I'm very impressed with the way these eyeshadows look on my actual eye I typically don't carry my eyeshadow that high up but that was something I was taking note on that the eyeshadow was kind of just like growing as I was going and I don't know if that's because it's so pigmented I really have to focus and control it in a certain area but it's kind of a love-hate relationship right now. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna dip into one of these beautiful colors. I noticed that they have like those chunky glitter shimmer shades, so I'm definitely interested to see how those look. I know I previously used some in a last review and I was so impressed with the creaminess, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my eye. I'm actually just gonna dip in with my finger. Okay, I have to say guys, these are so creamy. Like they look beautiful. Something in this formula is just so, feels so different different to me than previous eyeshadow palettes. Like I feel like they definitely upped their formula. Yeah, these are like chunky glitters, but they honestly are going on so pretty and they're not really getting all over my face, which I love. I'm gonna use a brush now to kind of place it on. So pretty. Oh my gosh. All right guys, so I spent a couple minutes just kind of placing that beautiful gold shade on top. And then what I did is I went in and I mixed this shimmer shade on top of that glitter just to kind of see how both of these would look. And I'm just so obsessed with how it turned out. So formula wise guys, I'm really impressed with Morphe right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like they did something in this formula that just is so pigmented. I'm very, very impressed. And I think they did a really good job bringing that pigmentation to this palette. So that being said guys, I'm gonna give this 4.5 stars. Now the reason why I did knock a little bit off of this and I didn't give it a complete five stars was only because I feel like it was so pigmented that a lot of the shadow was kind of dusting upwards rather than staying in that central area. So I'm gonna give it a 4.5 stars for application. All right, Bear Fam, so I went ahead and finished off this eyeshadow look and I'm just so, so impressed. I have to say that the pigmentation and everything was so beautiful. So let's go ahead and let's close this off with the final and last category, which is going to be the price of this palette. So this palette with 39 shades is going to retail you for a total of $42. So after we went ahead and we looked at the packaging of this, which was very unique, something very different from Morphe, we looked at the fact that it wasn't, it didn't have a mirror actually, it didn't have the names written out on the bottom. The color range was definitely more on the neutral side with a couple fun colors. I know Morphe started off as a very affordable brand and over the years they've kind of upped their prices a little bit. The thing about this is you are getting 39 shades. That is amazing because seven of those shades are actually really big. I was so impressed with the pigmentation on this palette. I think it was gorgeous and stunning and we kind of take all of that into consideration. I'm gonna say four stars for the price. This palette received a total of 15.5 stars, which means that it is verified. Now, I definitely do want to talk about a couple other launches that they are having with this collection. They are also launching their setting spray, and this one, literally, I sprayed it. It smells exactly like the original one. I believe it is the same exact setting spray, but they just basically added this print on it to make it more of a holiday collection. This is going to retail you for $16. Then you have the Pump Up the Glam brushes, the ones that I was talking about the face brushes. Once again, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with these bad boys, but these are the ones that are hand crystallized, I guess you could say. There's a total of eight brushes in this collection, and this is gonna retail you for $79. Now, the last launch that they're gonna be launching, which you guys know I'm obsessed with Morphe lip products. This is called Kiss List. So these have six of the lipsticks in them. They are glosses, I believe, and these are gonna retail you for $29. 
These are what I wear pretty much all the time. I'm wearing it right now, you guys. They're gorgeous. Totally worth it in my opinion. $29 for six of them is worth it because these look amazing. So that concludes today's review. I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away the lipsticks and these beautiful face brushes in a giveaway on this video. All you guys have to do is subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you follow me on Instagram, and comment down below what you guys loved about this collection. With that being said, guys, let me give my post notification shout out to my girl, Anya Ray. Thank you so much for having your post notifications on. If you guys want a shout out, all you guys have to do is turn them on, comment when done. Thank you guys. I love you all so much. Good luck on the giveaway, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.